But I highly recommended, if not to do it uh, every day, at least once a week, highly recommended also to do it once a day, it's very short, is to read the letter of the Ramban, the Igeret HaRamban. Ramban is Rabbi, Rabbi not the, uh, the Rambam Maimonides, right? rather Rabbi Moshe ben Nachman. Nachmani, the Nachmanides. And he has a letter, uh, in Hebrew it sounds a little bit more honorable, the Igeret HaRamban. Uh, it's more, much more than a letter. But uh, when I became observant, uh, a good friend of mine brought me the Igeret HaRamban, like in a nice leather case, and he gave it to me as a present, he told me, read this as much as you can. And this was really my, uh, uh, to find the right appropriate word, that was, I can't chas uh, say it in a not nice word, but that was my thing, that was my... Gateway. I would uh, not gateway, I'm trying to find even another word, that that was the, the teachings that I would go by. That was my thing. I, there's a word for that in English, I'll, I'll maybe come up to it in a second. But uh, when you uh, follow something, when you believe in something, when this is like your foundation, your, your motto, your slogan, that's what I followed. And it's not that I'm different than anyone else. You read it, in case you haven't yet. This is really the smartest, most appropriate way to walk by when you want to get closer to Hashem. It's very short. It's a few paragraphs. And powerful as solid iron. And uh, it's not in those pamphlets, pamphlets, but you can definitely get it in any Judaica. A lot of the Sidurim have it. And again, it's called Igeret HaRamban, or the letter of the Ramban, the Nachmanides. The reason why it's so important, because certain texts, when you read over and over and over, and it becomes part of your existence, you, to a point that you can already say it off by heart, becomes part of you. Many have the custom, that's another thing, we'll talk about it maybe another time, we'll add that too. Uh, I had a custom and I became observant every day to read one of the chapters of Pirkei Avot, the Ethics of the Fathers. It's divided into six, so Sunday I would read Perik Aleph, first chapter of Sunday I would read Perik Bet for years, to a point that I already was chanting it off by heart. But it's so powerful and ringing in your head that it's literally ethics of your life. And that's the same thing with the Yigirat Ramban. It's basic ethics that it's uh, uh, engraved into your system. And not for nothing, the Pirkevot is called the ethics of our fathers, but the Yigirat Ramban gives you a few uh, pillars, a few way of thinking that, you know, you need to read it to understand it. If you ever never read it, then today should be your first time that you read it. And if you read, read it before, then today should be the first time that you take on yourself. You know, in the, in the Igeret it says, read it once a week. But I will recommend to read it once a day. After your prayer, after Mincha, in the morning. It's very short. It's not something, it's a, it's a fraction even of what we read in Tikkun HaKlali and other things. It's shorter than all of them. But the importance is that it brings you to have the right awe in front of Hashem. It under, makes you understand to have the right fear in front of Hashem. The, the respect to the Kadosh Baruch the humility, it's shortened to the point, and I highly recommend, if you don't want to do it later on, then at least do it in the 40 days every day. But I, I think you by yourself will realize how important it is to read it at least once a week. I used to, for many, many years, read it every day, then I went down to once a week. Even though at some point I knew it already, already off by heart, it would be one of the things that I read that I go from point A to point B. But I'm not going to elaborate on that. I will let you read it yourself. If you don't read the Hebrew, uh, I will share with you also a PDF that I have in, in English uh, that you go through it at least once. And if you want, we'll do a class that we explain it more in depth. Although really it doesn't, uh, it's a no-brainer. It doesn't need much to explain here. He's telling you basic, basic things to follow, to bring you to Irat Hashem, to have real awe and fear of Hashem to bring you to be humble, to understand basic understandings in the connection to Hashem. And needless to say, when we want to focus on our prayers, and more than that, on the Kiddush Hashem, on sanctifying the name of Hashem, this is an, an amazing tool to use, and definitely another powerful tool to have in your uh, spiritual toolbox, in your arsenal. 
And exactly how it says in the Yeret, read it once a week. I will go one step forward and recommend it to read it once a day. It's a very valuable 120 seconds of your life. And when you read something over and over and over and over, because you know everything in the Torah, we are required to read at least 100 times. 100, above 100 times, that's already that you go above your, uh, your means. But we have to read everything 100 times. You read it over and over, it becomes part of you. And needless to say, definitely with no doubts, we'll get you to a much higher level. Thank you.